All right, so this is the Xbox that I fixed the other day with um, just the screws uh, replacing the X clamps. Okay. Now we got three flashing red lights. Okay. Now we're going to find out what the secondary error code is. I'm going to push the sync button. I'm going to hold it down. Okay. I'm going to push eject three times without letting go of sync. One. It's a zero. One. Zero again. And then two. And it's going to go back to three. What we have here is a secondary error code of 0102. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to see this little support here on the back of the board. And then there's another one. It's right here in the front. Okay. What we got to do is grind those down to 3 millimeters. And by the way, you, you know how high it is. You stack three washers right next to this and put them to eye level. Let's make sure this is three millimeters. This is just above three millimeters, which causes some flexing problems in the board. So we're going to go ahead and grind those down with my Dremel tool. All right. Hey, the way I do it, guys, is, um, is I use a stone grinder tool on the uh, Dremel. If you got one, it came to mine. A little stone. Just a little stone. And... Um, I put it right on top of that that ridge there. Let's see if I can show it. Put it right on here, just like that, and then grind it. And it's gonna skip and jump and hop all over the place, but um, it eventually ends up getting down there. All right, so now I've got these bad boys that are ground down three millimeters. Now for the next step, it says five millimeters in the um, Instructions, but I don't have millimeter bits, so this is a 364. What we want to do is go from the inside out. See, it's inside the Xbox. Out, because you're going to get burrs on the inside if you go from outside to inside. And then we drill. And all that. And they're nice and smooth on the inside. And if or not, just kind of rub it and it'll fall out. Make sure there's no metal shavings in there. The bottom, it's not really a big deal on the bottom. Alright, next step. Alright, now we take our screws. And all these screws come with a spring washer. See, a little spring washer. Okay. Pop those bad boys on. We gotta flip it upside down. Uh, I don't want to fall out. Now we use our trusty little metal thing here, our metal plate. Now what you notice is um, one is smaller than the other one. The smaller one goes under the CPU on the right side it's facing you so the bigger one will go on the left and you just drop it on the top here there we go okay now we got to put three washers on each page Remember, we ground it. We ground down those main pegs to three millimeters, and each one of these washers is one millimeter. Okay. The metal plate doesn't add enough um, to worry about using less washers. Finished product. We got three on each one. Okay. Now for the mobo. You're gonna want to take off. If you have screws on there, take those off. If you have clamps, take those off. Um, the best thing for taking those clamps off is a flathead screwdriver. If you have them, 
and just kind of go in between the peg and the loop and just dig it out and it pops right out. Just make sure you don't slip because you'll scratch the board and you don't want to do that. Alright, now we got this done. I'll take it apart. Uh, if you've never done anything before, make sure you clean these with Q-tip and some alcohol or glue removal to get all the old stuff off. Okay. Also, you're going to want to remove the little pegs that are in here. You can use any quarter inch drill bit. Um, just take out the, the bit. And this little hole will fit over the pegs that stick out of these, okay? And it'll come right out. And also, people, if you have these pink pads on here, just leave them on there. Those are heat sinks. Those are good for it, all right? No, say no to the penny trick. <laughs> here is to align the little pegs because they're not going to line up at first. What you want to do is take a flathead, just kind of make sure, push down on the board, move those little pegs till they meet up with the holes. Okay. Careful not to slip. Okay, cool. Done. We're all lined up. Okay. Now we put two washers on each peg. Okay. Two. Don't email me and ask me how many. <laughs> two. One, two. Put these on each of the pegs. Okay. One, two. And we gotta put on. I've already got thermal paste on there. I put it on there a couple days ago. Uh, you only need a little bit. Just put a little bit on the processor. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but mine just got enough to cover the little shiny part. Okay. What you want to do is lift it up a little bit. Okay. Put that tape off. tape and then okay. now if it takes too much force to screw it on there you probably got to cross thread just back it out and then you come back back it out come back Cross to it okay. right. Another GPU. <sighs> this is the second uh, second generation heat sink. Um, if you got the older ones, it's okay. It's just not gonna have this part. Alright. So don't worry about it. If you, got, if you can get one of these, get one of these. These are better. Let me just do the same thing the other side. Alright. We're all screwed in. Put my tape on here. Put my fans. I'm going to put money on it that it's going to work. But it's okay if it doesn't work right off the bat. You can just adjust it. 